through was getting a little bit more used to white things. It's a white thing, not just his slosh bottle, but anything white. But I think that's all down to the fact they used a lot of white to scare him up into a frenzy when they're showing him to get the best results. Uh, I'm not holding any judgment about that. It's just what people do with Arabians to show them off to the full extent. Um, just makes it difficult when you want to do other things, such as ride, <laughs> because they're that bit more reactive than if they hadn't had that treatment. This is Farouk being shown as a yearling at one of the top Arab shows. As you can see, very they're encouraging the reaction to get him looking at his best. You'll see at the bottom of the arena white plastic bag being flapped about. So I've been bringing in his hair bag. It's a new hair bag. So we haven't had it as, lo as long as um, the former blue hair bag, which was much more acceptable to him. But he, he, he accepts it for a minute now when he's back in the bag. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Yes. You make it much better, aren't you? And you'll even eat out of it, won't you? Yes. Um, I'm just, I've just started now um, practicing again with the slosh bottle because it's important to use the white uh, and not say, oh, well, I'll just use a different colour. Because when you go to endurance, most often people are using in this country white containers which come from the milk, the milk containers really. They wash them out and they use them because they're a good size and lightweight, aren't they? Yes. Um, so that's why I'm persevering with the plastic white. And also I don't want him to be frightened of white. No. So it's just going to be a very slow process because it is taking a long time to get him used to anything white. But we're just going to do it slowly and steadily, are we? And you'll get there in the end, won't you? Because you're a clever boy. So I'm going to put the carrots um, as little little tempters because we all know how much Farouk loves his carrots so these are just little encouragements a little bribe if you like I don't care just so that I can get over this because he doesn't like it as you can see he's backing off now he doesn't like the noise either because he's not he's heard much worse noises than these little boy come on then come on let's get close to this bottle come on I'd like him eventually to be able to lift this up like Apollo. Come on. Come on. Little trail of carrots. Look, look at this. Look. Don't give me that. It's too near. It's too near that bottle. So I'm just putting his bottle in his dinner 
Now I'm not going to leave it in there for people who think this is cruel. It's just to make him associate this white plastic with something nice, not something that's going to scare him like it's been used for in the past. So I'm going to ask him to eat a little bit of dinner, maybe three mouthfuls, and then I'll take it out. Here you go. Good. Yes, you can manage it. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yes, it's all right. It's all right. I know it's very scary. He's a wee bit head shy as well. Not much, given the fact that how he was treated. Um, and I'm going to show you a little clip of um, why I think he's head shy. But it doesn't, it's not often Shepherd head shy, and let me do quite a lot. But every now and again when I put my hand up, as I just did then, he, he gets a little bit worried, don't you? Dindins, come on here, look. There's a good boy, yes, that's a good boy. Good boy, yes. Good boy, he's actually put his head in the bucket next to a fully inflated white container. He's done it before, but it's some months ago when I first started doing this, and I haven't practiced it since, because you need time, and I haven't. Um, and now he's going again, good boy, good boy. Good boy, you can do it, good boy. Unfortunately, you touched the thing, didn't you? It was a bit scary. Come on, come on. I'll just have to give Apollo his dinner because he thinks it's unfair. So I'll we'll just leave the camera running just to see if you pluck up courage. Good boy, Peru. Because I don't normally stand in his stable when he's eating, so I don't want to make it any more difficult for him. Good boy. I'm not sure if that's two or three mouthfuls. I think it might be three, but I'll just let him do one more and then I'll take the bottle out. Good boy, well done. Good boy you were. Good boy facing your fears like that. Good lad. Farouk is trying very hard to overcome his fears. Ike is encouraging him. That's all for now folks, TTFN.